Hello, this is Daniel Burris, author of Flash Foresight. I thought what we'd do is take a few minutes to talk about intelligence. Oh, I'm not talking about my intelligence or your intelligence. I want to talk about the intelligence of things, because things are getting a lot more intelligent. What kind of things am I talking about? Well, how about cement? Do you know you can make cement intelligent? All you have to do is add chips and connect it, either wirelessly or wired, to a computer or a network. Uh, for example, a number of years ago, a bridge went down in the state of Minnesota, killed a lot of people, caused a lot of injury. Today, the new bridge has smart cement so that we can detect when the cement is cracking and fix the bridge before there's an accident. What else could you make intelligent? How about a farmer's field? How about a sprinkler system? In Southern California, there is not much water, but there are a lot of farms and they need moisture. They need a lot of watering. A lot of irrigation is going on and is expensive and uses a lot of resources. We could take biodegradable chips, put them in the soil to be able to determine the moisture level of exact locations in the farmer's field. We can also make the sprinkler system intelligent and network it with the sensors in the soil so that the sprinkler system is only putting water where the water is needed instead of on the entire field. You could see this would be far more effective and use a lot less water and this saved the farmers a lot of money. What else could you make intelligent? How about those dumb video cameras that are all over these stores? Of course, they're the security cameras. And I call them dumb because they just sit there and they don't seem to produce great results. You and I have seen the nightly news when there's been a robbery and we see the footage and it's so grainy, you can hardly even make out who the person was, much less even the store and what was in that store. But the new cameras are not big like the old ones. They're much smaller. As a matter of fact, you can make them so small that they're almost invisible. You don't even have to worry about the focus. Because it's a digital camera, you can focus later after it's shot. And they're now high definition. But we're still talking about a dumb high definition camera. How do we make it smart? Well, we do something more than just take footage to look for security problems. What we do is analyze customer behavior inside of a, sh a store. For example, Walmart, Kmart, Sears and other retailers are starting to turn those cameras into smart cameras that are monitoring the behavior of people at displays. For example, let's say that you just put up an entire new display. Well, you can tell if someone is walking by it and not stopping, whether people are stopping and looking and then walking by, or if they're picking something up, looking at it and putting it back versus picking it up and putting it in their bag, which indicates they're going to buy it. All of this is really important intelligence, and you don't have to have someone watching that footage. Smart systems using supercomputers and other types of computers that are networked can analyze the flow of traffic, the behavior of people, and provide instant real-time reports allowing you to make corrections in the same day of that display to heightened customer, uh, not only awareness, but purchasing in the end. Ask yourself, what could you make intelligent? What would you want to add intelligence to, to increase productivity or to become better at what you do? You'd be surprised at the answer. This is Daniel Burris, author of Flash Foresight.